In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're continuing with uh, volume 13, 11, 19, 19, 21. But the previous one, volume 13, 11, 8, 21, is a very important uh, document, very important paragraph, very important uh, talk that Jesus gave. Jesus says, blessed are you, Louisa, all generations will call you blessed. The arm, the power of God, uh, the arm, my divine arm, Jesus says, is going to make works of power in you, Louisa. You, Louisa, uh, are going to be the divine reflection of God. You, Louisa, are going to fill the whole earth. You, Louisa, will make me receive from all human generations the glory that they have denied to me for 6,000 years. Louisa says, I can't, I don't want to write this down. And Jesus says, no, you shall do it. I, God, want it. I, what I have said, he says, is going to serve as honor of my most holy divine will. I myself, as God, wanted to say this, to give me, Jesus says, the just homage that befits the divine sanctity of my divine will that's found in you, Louisa. And then he says, rather, I've said nothing compared to what I could say about you, Louisa. The book of heaven explains who Louisa is. Look at the 2,200 titles that Jesus has given to Louisa. So we continue. Vine 13, 11, 19, 1921. But do you know who prevented the execution and sustained my holy humanity from dying when Jesus was at, uh, going to Calvary? He says, the first was my inseparable mother. In hearing me ask for help, our lady flew by my side, Jesus said, and sustained me. And my right arm, he says, rested on her. So here he shows us who was with him as he sacrificed his life. The one who helped him sacrifice his life was our lady. She knew that either Jesus died, the one she loved the most, or although all of humanity would die. And um, she sacrificed her son. This is, we have to understand Calvary with Our Lady at Calvary. Uh, a lot of the, the mothers who've lost their sons, lost their loved ones, um, watching them die, it's, it's a very painful time. How much more painful was this for the, for the woman without sin? How much painful was this for Theotokos, the mother of God? She, she heard Jesus, and she flew to his side spiritually and sustained him. She was at the foot of the cross, but she was with him on, on Calvary in more, in more than just physically. And Jesus says, I leaned my right arm on her. And he says, in almost dying, I looked at her. And I found in the Blessed Mother the immensity of my divine will intact. Here, here is the same thing for us. When we are in any situation, we can go to the Blessed Mother. We look at her. And what the same thing we find in Our Lady, the immensity of God's most holy divine will intact. And he says, without a, even a break between my divine will, Jesus says, and her uh, surrender of her human will. So that the divine will was one with Our Lady as it was one with Jesus. This is who is going to help you. Now, if you're reading uh, the Virgin Mary in the kingdom, our Lady will teach you how to live in the divine will. You've got to go step by step. And each day, she shows you a little bit more of what we have to do, as she did, to live in the divine will. This is how she taught Louisa. And, and again, we look at Our Lady. 
Do we have a picture of Our Lady in our homes? Do we have a statue of Our Lady in our homes? Do we have a statue of Our Lady outside our homes? Do we let everyone know she is our mother? She is our queen. We are one with her as she's one with Jesus. She always leads us to Jesus. That's Our Lady's job. She gave birth to the, to the word and the word was given to the world. What a, what, what a beautiful mother in all the universe is Our Lady. Jesus says this. So he says to us as well, uh, he says, my divine will is life. You see why, why God has given us the book of heaven. It's not about just doing the will of God in a saintly human manner, a saintly good manner, uh, but to, to receive the divine will is to begin to live the life of Jesus, the life of Mary, to live it, not just to do it. The saints have taught us how to do the will of God. My divine will is life. And he says, and since the will of the Father was immovable and death was coming to me from humanity, from all humanity, another creature who enclosed my life, uh, enclosed the life of my divine will, gave me life. So here, this, this, this gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigy that, that our God has uh, blessed us with is Jesus and Mary. Uh, he says, my divine will is life. Mary lived in the divine will. It gave me life. He says, uh, as, as the father was immovable and death was uh, uh, coming to me from humanity, my mother, who enclosed life of my divine will, gave me life again. Jesus could breathe again. Now, now you're getting a glimpse of Louisa. Jesus, she would, Jesus, Louisa would say to Jesus, I can't live without you. I can't function without you. I can't breathe without you. My heart doesn't beat without you, Lord. And she was always longing for life, the life of Jesus, the life of Mary. And this is, this gives us a glimpse of, of why Louisa had this desire for Jesus as Our Lady did. He says, Jesus says it very, very clearly. Death was coming to me from humanity, but my mother, who was enclosed in the life of my divine will, gave me life again. God wants to breathe this into us. He doesn't want us to be separated from him any longer. We are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are, we belong to God, the triune God. That's, that's uh, be the beginning of, of uh, uh, in the image of God in us. Now, Jesus says, now is the time for the likeness. As God redeemed us 2,000 years ago on Calvary with his mother on Calvary. Now, a new and divine way of holiness is coming to all the earth. This 2,000 years, Jesus says, was a pause, if you want to say. It was a rest. God said, now that mankind is redeemed, now that they have the Holy Church, now that they have my mother, now they have the sacraments and sacramentals, good. Now they're ready to be sanctified. So now 2,000 years later, God wants to sanctify us. God wants us to enter into his life fully, our life, our lady's life fully that, that they gave to Louisa. And again, this is very close. When this great outpouring of the Holy Spirit comes, when this fire of the sacred heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary consumes the world in love, we're going to be in ecstasy. And there will be others, unfortunately, that will be wailing and grinding their teeth. Jesus is asking us, would you be willing to help humanity? Would you be willing to do this? And when we say yes, he says, okay, prove it. I, I want to see this. So what does he do? He says, I want to enclose in you my divine will. I want you to have my life. I want you to have my mother's life that I gave to Louisa. So Jesus says, and here, my mother 
who in the portrait of my divine will conceived me, my mother who gave birth in time, she, Jesus says, now is giving me life for a second time to let me accomplish the work of redemption. Remember what Jesus said to Louisa. He said very, very clearly to her, uh, the, the, the agony in the garden was, was so painful because every, every sin was a death to God. Every sin came against God. And uh, Jesus says, he took upon himself all that which, is, which was opposed to God. And, and he died on the cross, becoming our sin, took the place for our sinfulness. God who cannot die, died. That's why if you haven't seen the movie, Mel Gibson's movie, The Passion, and, or even if you have seen it, watch it. Watch it again. Watch it again. If you're, it, This will help you enter into the 24 hours of The Passion to begin to understand the, what Jesus and Mary went through uh, to bring us redemption. Our Lady was with Jesus at Calvary. She was with him, co-redeemed with Jesus. With Jesus she was. And it's important that we, if you haven't prayed the, the, the chaplet of the tears of Mary, yeah, again, you haven't begin, begun to understand how she died with him, how his heart was split in two, how her heart was split in two. You'll also read where Jesus says to Louisa, I'm going to give you a gift. And uh, Louisa said, yes. And he says, I want to um, use a spear to cut your heart in half. I, wanted, I want you to go through what I went through as the new Adam and Mary went through as the new Eve. These are the three that suffered the most, Jesus, Mary, and Louisa. We don't have to go through this as they did. We have to give up our human will, which is no more worry, no more fear, no more anxiety, no more complaints, no more negativity, no more doubting, no more sin. Give up our human will. It leads us to hell. But Jesus is saying, I want you to enter into this gift. He says, uh, my mother conceived me. My mother gave birth to me. My mother now for a second time gives life to me. Why? So I can accomplish. This is how, this is how horrible it was. So I can accomplish the work of redemption. To take the place of Adam and all of humanity. Take the place of Eve and all of humanity. What what God has done for us is is we 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 used to genuflect during the creed. We used to kneel, uh, and the Word became flesh. The angels are kneeling when they at Christmas. They can't believe. I mean, they're astonished that God, holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, became man. They can't believe this. This is. This mercy of God that all the angels knew is the justice of God. When they said yes to God, it was forever. When they said no to God, it was forever. Mercy was that part of a uh, part of what the angels went through. We have mercy, and that's why Jesus says the final devotion that I give to my church before I return is divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. I have complete confidence in you. You're my Lord, my Savior, my Master, my King. You're going to take care of everything. And, that, and that's where we are today. It's, it's to let God, with total trust and confidence, lead us into, the, into receiving this gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies. This is a great time to be alive. There's nothing to worry about. It's, it's to, our intellect has to begin, begin to, we have to begin to think with the mind of Christ. Our memory has to be of Jesus and Mary. That's why we pray the rosary. And finally, our human will. I don't want to be in charge anymore. I want you, Lord, to be in charge as Our Lady let you be in charge of her life. Fiat mihi, she said. And now we say, fiat voluntas tua. May your kingdom reign in us on earth, this dust as it is in heaven. This is how glorious it is, how magnificent it is. May the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will 
that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus' name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray that this prayer becomes God's command, and that we be divinely healed, and that we, re we receive this anointing of the invincible strength to live in the divine will and never in our human will any longer. This, this becomes God's command. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.